بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم. So it's the last lesson in the formal logic, meaning the mandi, but the formal meaning formal doesn't mean formal informal. It's also informal. Formal doesn't mean like formal as in uh, forms, the shakal, the syllogisms. The other one is informal logic. For example, okay, is he using a like is he blaming you foul language? That's like it's a logic that you can understand. The, but it's not really a form. It's still understanding a more deep. This kind of uh, formal logic, but that probably actually ended. That probably ended in a thing, uh, induction. But anyways, the two types of formal and informal. So we have here we have inference, direct inference, conversion, we have obversion, contradictory, subaltern, contrary, and subcontrary. Then we have the indirect. We have deduction. We have categorical syllogisms, which is include the major term, major premise, the minor term, the minor premise, the middle term, and the conclusion. Then hypothetical syllogism. We have the mixed hypothetical and pure hypothetical, and there we discuss affirming the, ante um, affirming the antecedent and denying the consequence. You can't deny the antecedent and affirm the consequence. And then we have the destructive syllogisms: is it man jumpy man al khulu or man jumpy wal khulu? We have induction, and induction is what when you move upwards, and you have it's called istiqra in Arabic. And if it's complete induction, it's called istiqraun tamun. And if it's not, it's called istiqraun naqis. So, for example, today we're doing the hadith. So this is a manhaj of Imam uh, Abu Dawood is what. This is istiqra. That we look at all of. Well, he's managed himself, but for example, Imam Abu Dawood, Imam Muslim, he said, okay, he's only narrated from these kind of narrators. That's istiqra. We look at all the narrators and we, can, we come to the conclusion that this is what his methodology is. That's called istiqra. An analogy is basically taking one, one item, one ruling, and applying that to another. Okay? Now, whilst we're here, because you guys are going to do so the fiqh as well. Now, deduction in mantik, deduction is called what? What's deduction called? Uh, qiyas. Yes, it's called what? Qiyas. An analogy is called what? Tamthil. Are you following? It's called what? Tamthil. However, this analogy in, in so in this is called this is what? In mantiq. That's a mantiq terms, okay? In uh, in 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 fiqh, this is it's called qiyas. You following? So the fiqh analogy is really qiyas, but in in and man they call that tamthil. So it's the same thing, but you have to know this one. It's, again, sometimes you have to get people get obsessed with the words. So what's the concept? And each people, each person uses each term, each science. Sometimes before the terms are concrete and there's unanimity upon it, these are interchangeable. Obviously, we can't change it after it's become established. But sometimes before the habas the usul hadith. So there's an idea and a concept, and people use different terms. For different things, so I, I did understand the idea. Okay, right. So analogy is arguing that because two things are similar in some respects, they are also similar in another. So, so if you look at, if you want to look at it very simply, deduction is going down, induction is going up, and analogy is going across. That's what it is basically. Yeah, you like that simple, that simple thing. Deduction going down, analogy going up. No, deduction going down, induction going up, and analogy going across. For example, two shirts are made by the same company. If the first shirt is good quality, we assume the other is going to be. We do all the time, don't we? That if you have a, uh, I don't know, like an example, this is a, this is a um, what's this, I don't know, whatever it's called, whatever brand it is, Haramain or Dafa or whatever it is, it's the new one. Can't remember what's called, huh? Nusuki. So if you assume that, okay, this, this one, this Nusuki was a good quality and it lasted long So therefore if you go and we buy that, we buy some more Nusuki Same quality That's what advertise for, isn't it? We don't advertise each individual product, innit? They advertise a brand And, the, and the, the inference and the analogy in there is that if one is good Then the entire brand is going to be good That's why we use analogy in our day-to-day activities So in Arabic this is called, in Mantik, in Mantik term it's called Tamthil But in, in Fiqh this is called what? Qiyas And Qiyas in Mantik is called the syllogisms. Got it? So now we have here, we have to look at four things. One is the source. What are we basing? What's the precedent basically? This also comes a lot in our law. Like for example, that's why like for example, when you have, when you have um, like law, they refer back to so-and-so case. And that becomes like a standard now. So is this case like this case or is it like that, not like that case? You understand? So like you have called it's called legal precedent. The maqis alay. So qasi yaqisu that upon which you're doing qiyas, the precedent of the source. And the maqis is that what you try the new 
the new idea, the new concept, the new rule, the new item that we're trying to do chaos for. You understand? You follow? And then you have similarities and dissimilarities. You follow? Yes? And then you come to a conclusion. You understand? Yes? Okay. Khamar was Khamar. We're not going to get too technical in here. We're going to say here, Khamar is what? Alcohol. Yes, we're not going to get technical. Alcohol. What kind of alcohol? I said we're not going to get technical. Alcohol. What's the ruling of alcohol in Islam? Impermissible. Why? Are you sure? What if it's because it's brown? What if it's because it ferments? Everybody comes to agree that the reason, so we have here Khamar, the ruling of Khamar is what? Impermissibility. Why is it impermissible? It's, intox it's imp intoxicant. So therefore, we put a qiyas, we put a tamthil, that this is also what? It has intoxicating qualities, so therefore it must also be what? Impermissible. impermissible. And we have sugar. So because cocaine is impermissible, and cocaine is what? White. It's white. And it's what? Powderous, powdery. So therefore, sugar is also going to be what? Impermissible. Yes? I'm not saying it's right. Tamthil, but tamthil nonetheless. So obviously what you have to do, you, when you do tamthil, you have to then analyze, okay, what are the resemblance, what are the core? It's like, so for example, racism is based on false analogy, really. So for example, somebody's white, we say, okay, this white person, because uh, white people are, what, they, they enslave other people, so therefore all white people are bad. Or one black person then murder, or two black people then murder, so therefore black people are murderers. So we're making the illa and the, the essence what, the reason what, the color of the skin. Do you understand? So that's not that's a, that's a, that's an analogy we, do, we we drawing, because he's black and he's black, or she's black and she's black, or he's white and she's white, or he's Muslim and she's Muslim, and he's we're making the illa certain things which are not which are not the actual cause of it. Like this being white and powderous is not the reason cocaine is is, in, in, is impermissible, impermissible because why it has intoxicating qualities. Being white and powderous is not the reason it's yeah, intoxicant. Okay. Okay. Right, so now we have, so you have to understand. So the rules are, I mean, there are many rules, but certain things you have to look at is the number and variation of maqis alay. Like, for example, if you have many precedents, then we are more sure of, of the reason, isn't it? If you've got one precedent, one maqis alay, then we've only got one thing to basically get deduct from. If you've got multiple maqis alay, then we have, a, we have a stronger source to deduce from. Yes? No? Similarly, we have to then look at the number of similarities and the relevance of the similarities between the maqis alay and the maqis. So for example, between cocaine and sugar, there's two similarities. They're both white and they're both powderous. They're both light. They're both what? Solids. And we've only got one similarity with, in, 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 with alcohol. But that alcohol is more relevant. The, 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 the similarity with alcohol is more relevant. So we have to look at the number of similarities and the relevance of the similarities. That's where you get the maqis and maqis alay. So this again, this, this never give, give you 100% knowledge. Deduction is 100%, induction tam, 100% induction narcis. The sakala narcis is in how much, however strong your, your induction is. Even here as well. You can't get 100% surety. It's just a qiyas, it's just a tamthi. They also have a number of dissimilarities. How are they dissimilar? You understand? Isn't that a number of similarities? Number of dissimilarities. How are the difference? And what's the relevance of the dissimilarities between them? So for example, alcohol is what? A liquid and it's a solid. But the, the, the form of it is not important. You're following? It's dissimilar, isn't it? Alcohol is what? Not white. It's probably what? Usually brown or whatever color it's going to be. And, and, and cocaine is white. So the color is, is dissimilarity, but that's the similarity has no relevance. So you have, to look at, you have to look at these things, how similar they are, how dissimilar they are, and the relevance of the similarity and the similarities in your analogy. Are you following? Mm. So this is a basic, um, this is a basic uh, understanding of analogies. And it's so many, maybe we'll go through some examples and practice later on. But this is the basic, okay? Are you following? So the last way we, dis we deduce information is when you have one established ruling, or whatever it is, and then we, do, we, do, we, we go across. Are you following? It's called tamthil, but it's commonly known to us in the, in the, in the realms of usul fiqh and fiqh as well. Qiyas. Okay? Funny? Any questions? Okay, subhanallah. Alhamdulillah. 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 Alhamdulillah.